The inner strength lasts through every heat and every cold. But I am going to give you something that you, everybody can take home today. Show, show, rear naked show. So if I'm here, I, I kick the guy down. So what am I going to do? I'm going to slide over, and as soon as I kick over, right, anyone can do this. Attack his hand, punch it to his chest. I was just grabbing his wrist. What am I going to go with? <laughs> right away. Because look, his hand's on the mat. He needs it for a post. How many people are going to give up their posts? Yeah, I, I would. I would go with my posts. So most, people, <laughs> most but we know it's me and the Chris knows it's coming. But like most people are like, hell no, I gotta fight this. And then in that time that he's thinking about fighting it, you're throwing your arm through his net, exactly. he's done. And then you pull him to the other side. Alright, so again, let's say I stepped over, because I think everyone got there, some a little bit better than others, it's a little work quirky, the movements are a little off still, but have him here. I'm inside wrist riding, so he can't fight my left hand. I'm grabbing his wrist. All I gotta do is hit him with the swoosh around the neck, ear to ear, and then before you pull him back, lock the choke. That's the that's the that's the, that's the uh, major key right there. Who's it on the Before, yeah. So he doesn't have time for a job. So it's already in here. See, it's already in. And then I'm transitioning to the other side. And then the foot position for the beginners is just put your hooks in like this. Don't cross your feet. Put your hooks just like this, and you go for the finish. I'm gonna show it from the top, all right? One time. I'm gonna show it from the top. So switch with this in. So I'm gonna pull them. Remember, I'm using a hip-to-hip -hip connection, by the way. I'm not tilting them this way. I see some of you guys tilting this way. With your hip open. Remember, it's like a lined-up scenario that you use. Stepping over, hand fight, throw the choke in, ear to ear, lock it up. So this is this leg positioning works, right? This leg positioning, if you're brand new, you're just gonna go here. You're gonna go uh, both feet inside the hooks. Uh, okay, so that's that move. I didn't prepare Chris for this next move, but he knows it so well. Now, this is what happens in a real fight or in a match, in a real match. So if I'm here, I break him down and I put my fist on the, on the ground. Small detail added. I slide over, I kick my leg through. And now, what happens when I grab around his arm? He goes belly down. As soon as he goes belly down, I slide my knee behind his head, and I'm stuck right there. And I put my shoe bone behind his neck. Okay, let's wait for that to stop. You ready for this then? Shin's behind the head. I gotta roll. I grab the shin bone with my right hand. Grab the shin, I extend it, put it on like that. You catch, just kick over the head, arm lock. Yeah. Chris is like the only guy that does this. Oh, you know, we remember <laughs> you showed this before, but when they were on that back, they were on the yeah. other side. So a major detail would be here, stepping over. Once I punch through, he goes belly down. Right? He does this. So, okay. See, that happens in transition. A lot of times the guy rolls naturally. He rolls naturally, rolls, I'll catch his leg, and then lean to the leg and then kick over the face and get the arm off. But if he has a really good base, he'll stay on his knees. In, in which case, you'll, you'll have to use the more technical breakdown, which is, you know, you go here, kick. If he, if he stays here, see how I work straight to my hip? Shin behind the head? So I have, I have a leverage, leverage of my leg. I'm putting his shin bone on like it's a hat, and I'm extending my right leg. That's really what's gonna kick him over. So it's extending, and then pay attention to my right hand. It's going from this kind of putting on of the hat to a scoop grip. So this is what it's gonna go over your head. You ready? Full extension to a scoop grip. Watch my right hand. You see that? And if I stay here, he's just gonna kick his leg free and escape. So it has to go from here to here, mid roll. And then you're leaning and then taking the arm lock from the top position. Let's try it on for you guys. One, two, three.